For a patient with a thyroid nodule, the first step is to measure the serum TSH and perform an ultrasound of the thyroid and neck. A nodule with a low TSH is concerning for hyperthyroidism and should undergo radioiodine imaging to determine if it is autonomously functioning. Diffuse uptake is suspicious for Graves' disease, where is a single focus for a solitary toxic nodule and heterogeneous uptake with multiple nodules for toxic multinodular goiter. Malignancy is rare with hot nodules, so hypofunctional nodules or euthyroid or hypothyroid patients with a nodule should be considered for FNA with ultrasound guidance. Suspicious sonographic features include hypoechoic nodules, microcalcifications, extrathyroidal extension, irregular margins, absence or disrupted halo sign, increased intranodular vascularity, and nodules that are taller than they are wide. Ultrasound features associated with a low suspicion of malignancy include isoechoic or hyperechoic solid nodules, mixed solid cystic nodules, or spongiform nodules without the aforementioned suspicious features. FNA should be performed on solid nodules with suspicious features of equal or greater than 1 cm and without suspicious features of equal or greater than 1.5 cm. For mixed solid cystic nodules, the solid component follows the same guidelines. Spongiform nodules should be evaluated if greater or equal than 2 cm in size. The Bethesda criteria is used to classify cytologic interpretations of FNA thyroid biopsies. Non-diagnostic or unsatisfactory cytology occurs in 5-10% to of cases and requires a repeat FNA. Benign cytology includes varying amounts of benign follicular cells, colloid, and lymphocytes. Benign cytology is seen in about 60% of cases with a low cancer risk and should be followed clinically. When cytology shows a follicular lesion or a tippy of undetermined significance or suspicion for a follicular neoplasm, the results are called indeterminate. The former should undergo repeat FNA, and if molecular testing is unavailable and repeat aspirates continue to show atypia, a diagnostic lobectomy should be performed. Cytology suspicious for a follicular neoplasm have a 15-30% to 30 malignancy rate and can undergo molecular testing or diagnostic lobectomy, as an FNA will not demonstrate the characteristic vascular or capsular invasion of a follicular carcinoma. Finally, nodules with cytology suspicious for malignancy, as well as those with a confirmed malignancy, should undergo a lobectomy or total thyroidectomy.